All right, this should be perfect, honestly. This is a true test of how good this microphone is. By 1951, it was expanded three times the size to make it larger, and they moved it to, a, to the newer location in 1983. And Arthur Erickson was the architect who was commissioned. So in that sense, this is a dream of a place. And it's really cool to see the history. And I've seen the renovations since it is now. There used to be a fountain in the center. But it's pretty cool now, there's more stuff to skate now. But I have my phone in my right pocket because I have the microphone in the left. So it's a little awkward, but I'm gonna skate it and see how I feel with a switched phone into my pocket. Hey, how you doing? I'm just skating this ledge. What are you shooting with? What am I shooting with? Yeah. Fuji? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. I like photography. Do you want to shoot some photos? A distance or something? Just like on top or like wherever you want. On the... I'm going to just be filming though on this right here. You're going to be filming? Yeah. So just from a distance if you want to shoot sure. photos. Yeah. What's your name? Aziz. Aziz. I'm Liam. Nice to meet you. The reason I enjoy skating here is because the ledges are concrete. I wanted to go over six reasons why I prefer skating concrete ledges. In this video I'm going to skate a couple ledges. Different ledges, all the things that Art Gallery has to offer. So at Art Gallery today I'm going to skate the four corners of the building. Why crusty ledges are fun. Concrete ledges, they look good, they skate good. It's really awesome. This is the south facing side of Art Gallery and I'm going to skate the ledges here. This is the most fun part of Art Gallery. There's two different ledges, a lower, a lower part and then a taller part. But chunky ledges are really fun because it's challenging. And so you actually work for your tricks. The, 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 the dynamic is different when you're walking into grinds. You have to be quite stable on your trick in order to do it properly. When you get familiar with that, it becomes more easy and you're more able to do it consistently and enjoy the form of a concrete ledge. Let's go skate it now. unique enjoyment when you're rolling on it. It's unlike anything else. And the, the fact that it is that case, it is quite jaded and aged, makes it more difficult. And that pretty much creates more of the joy within skating in this surface at this place, Art Gallery. Let's go check the other side. You can see the arena from here. Pretty crazy. Well, you know what's insane is this was in a video game, Tony Hawk's Underground. You can skate over top of the glass roof. It's pretty unreal. And it was always the inspiration. It was the last level on Tony Hawk's Underground. And so Vancouver is pretty special. I'd say the ledges are more street oriented. That's why I like concrete ledges. It makes you feel like you are street skateboarding, which is the truest form of skateboarding. So why not skate the concrete ledges and feel very in tune? That's the benefit of these ledges and others around the world. The only unfortunate thing is I need a skate tool because my truck's loose. It sucks. Sorry, I'll, I'll move out of your shot there. Oh, it's all good. You're making, you're adding to it. The 
last things I wanted to say were some cons is the fact that you have to add more wax for the most part in order to get a concrete ledge going is pretty tough. And the, the next thing is it can be harder to lock into grinds and hold grinds because of how um, jaded the, the angle is. And it's really, it's hard to control the whole, uh, it's hard to control the grind sometimes because of how jaded it is. It, it tosses your board around a bit. Those are the reasons behind the skating of concrete ledges that I think is really fun and then I just added some negatives. You know what's good. Honest opinion. This video was a test with a microphone. It's my first time using this. Thanks for also listening to my description of concrete ledges. Let me know what you think in the comments below about concrete ledges, when they're all waxed up, ready to go. How does it feel for you? All right, see ya.